in this slide uh, we will like talk about the lookup we will learn uh, uh, about the excel most common reference function which is the lookup to find a value uh, by its reference or by its uh, like index okay so here uh, actually this is the vlookup syntax and this actually takes four parameter like lookup value the table array and column index number and then range lookup so the first uh, parameter which is lookup value this is the value that uh, you are trying to match in the table array okay so and the table array this is the range this is where you are looking for the lookup value okay and then uh, the column index number actually this is uh the means uh, which column contains the data you are looking for okay so we'll implement this formula with our uh, excel sheet and this is a, the formula syntax for each lookup so the difference between vlookup and each lookup is uh we look up value uh from uh, like the vertically uh vertically aligned uh data set right or when the rows uh, are in vertical position and or we'll look up a uh, value from vertical data or and in each lookup we actually look up value we find values from the uh, data that are aligned in horizontal line okay so uh, let's implement this so we'll use this sheet uh, to uh, uh, apply like uh, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So this is our primary data set, which is product quantity and product ID. Okay. So there are product like t-shirts, sweater, shorts, socks, and shoes. So now in another place, we got these uh, two column data set, right? Which is product and price. So these two are same like this from uh, this range okay and this range are same but i just uh, write them into different places for the purpose of vlookup and hlookup so this will uh, in this data set will apply vlookup that's why we like kept in in vertical line or vertically but this is uh we like kept in horizontal right so here we got all the uh, like data uh, we need for this product except the price so we need to extract price from another place or another table in this table so we can uh, do this by this data validation uh, sorry this lookup formula so okay this vlookup will uh, simply uh, search for this product and it will search product in this table and it will get extract the price for this product and will, it will simply paste it or it will um, copy this price here and it will paste it here right so we can find our specific uh, desired product information that is missing uh or that is present in another table using this vlookup so let's implement this uh using first uh this implement is vlookup function we'll use vlookup here and then we got the syntax that is provided by the excel built-in uh, here uh, this vlookup formula actually uh we need to the first parameter is lookup value so which value or what value we are looking for okay so here i will like select this uh, product like t-shirt we are looking for the price of t-shirt so here uh, we need to define the table array like the uh, uh, array where where we are going to find it okay so we are going to check this product in this uh, range like g uh, to, to h6 okay and then uh, which column uh, like we are going to extract so we are going to extract this co to uh, second column right product is the first column and price is the second column and then we need to give uh, another parameter like we want exact match or we want approximation match 
okay so right now we are going uh, we need exact match so we'll enter here the false okay so here we get the uh, price where uh, right so this column will be a price uh, that we extract by VLOOKUP formula okay uh, so this is uh, the price for t-shirt right so we can uh, do this same or uh, we can use this app apply the same formula for other product to get their value or price but we, for now we'll simply like auto use this autofill feature so uh, here like we only get the values right not the format like here they are this is uh, like it's called currency format the value is in currency format but in this table the value is in general format but it's simple we can like change it to currency format okay now let's see how to extract the same value using hlookup function uh, for this we'll use like hlookup and here the syntax is similar like we want to check this product okay find this product uh, in from this uh, actually range now the range uh, the table is uh, in vertical position sorry the range or uh, table is in horizontal position okay or uh, we uh, actually need the row index so here we will want the second row the price price in the second row right and then we want the full uh, exact match so we give the false here okay so now press enter and we'll get the same value here okay. copy the thing and have paste it here and only yeah. Now I'll uh, apply autofill. So, okay. Okay, so we are getting uh, this uh, error type. Okay, not available error. So that means uh, we talked about this error, right? So this actually error means like uh, reference error. Actually, this is reference error. So reference error also represented by this way, not available error. So this occurs when the formula refers to cell that is invalid. That means the cell is not valid uh, here. Okay, so let's solve this problem. Uh, here, actually, uh, it's uh, taking a cell like J3. This is J3. Uh, J3 to 04 J3 to 04 okay uh, but the previous uh, formula is taking value from J2 to 03 okay so now uh here like uh it's actually taking the range from this line like it starts from j3 and ends in 04 but here we see that the product uh, this row is missing so it is not getting the value uh what value it is uh like uh what is like it is not getting the value which is to find like uh, the t-shirt right so it's missing uh, like it is not finding the t-shirt value so it's showing us not available error right so to fix this uh, range we need to simply uh, add here a dollar sign so 
we can use it manually but i'll type f4 or press f4 but to do it like is a uh, shortcut right okay so now it's fixed uh, okay I messed up okay I'll press enter now let's again uh, use this autofill function or autofill features uh, I think this time we should get the right output okay so we need to uh, fix also this g2 uh, let's f4 apply f4 and then enter right now uh, we'll get our desired output here right okay so actually hlookup vlookup uh, these the functionality of these two are same or similar right uh, just uh, when uh, we got row uh, the header or the like uh, uh, column name right in is like in column order or in column like product product is a column price is a column then we'll use uh, vlookup and when the header name is in the row like product is in a row and price is in another row then we'll use hlookup so this is the like mm, main difference okay so now we like see how to use these uh, vlookup and hlookup and implement them uh, in a real world case scenario